Yeah, I was the dirt ball of the family. 300 people walked out there, hit that, murdered, brought that outs down. Wow. And from that point on, I was like, if any of my friends fucking need that, they're getting it. Man, it's nice. that's heavy stuff. Hmm. I mean, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I ate 45 crab cakes and called hmm. it a night. <laughs> I do oh. love a good wedding. People shit on wedding. Oh, I gotta go to a wedding, but I love I love getting hammered in a tuck. Oh, I dude, getting dressed up to get drunk. Uh, I love like even saying anything where I'm like, I put on a t-shirt and we go get drunk together. Yeah. I'm in. You want to move to get laid, single guy at a wedding? Get a couple pops in you. <laughs> dance with grandma. That's big. <laughs> I'm talking a slow shimmy with that old bag of bones. <laughs> oh, every gal there slipping on her own squirt. <laughs> Works every time. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This broad's better than night crawlers. You know what I mean? <laughs> huh? They come jumping into the boat. But uh, Netflix is Netflix is literally has a creda. They'll they'll tell you. Oh yeah. They have quotas. They're Locked like, in you have a TV show. We have a TV show. We have an Asian director. We have a woman director. And there's a. It's not. Doesn't matter. It's 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 less about. I think Whatever they're doing, business. though, they're doing. They so seem what, to be doing so what well. happened in your? So I, I had two good pitches before that. So I was loose and I was zanging and zanging and I was I was on. And we were in there with the Netflix guy and we couldn't get the video to work to play the sizzle. And it was just showing like the ceiling. And I go, oh, it's the Kevin Hart sex tape. I'm trying to make jokes. <laughs> and the guy goes, can you believe that the woman is suing him for that? I was like, well, I think it's the best thing he's ever done. Uh, it's funny. It's funny than his specials. And he was like, you know, I produced the last four of those. And I was like, oh, well, I'm just I'm just fucking around. You know, we all love Kevin Hart. And he's like, I don't think that's appropriate. I mean, he does. He works with Netflix. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just a calm, just busting ball. I love Kevin Hart. I wish I was him. He's a little guy and cute and all that. Uh, Pets too. Go see it. Blah blah blah. And he just the whole pitch. I'm just, that was it. Oh, I, I, I'm pouring my heart out in this pitch, shucking and jiving. I'm tap dancing, and he was just like. Take right, a, thank you. Take a joke, man. Right, that's well, the whole ne thing. Netflix is doing something right, though, aren't they? Right, look, I did a college gig not too long ago, and I was doing sex jokes, oh, and, and they're, they're clenching their pearls, and I'm like, you guys don't get it. You you call yourself progressive. You're like conservative. You're like a conser You're like Reagan's wife. Oh, oh my God, how dare you? I'm like, <laughs> you should be having fun, you twat. You're 18. Live your life, you retard. What is wrong with you? Right. This is like you just heard somewhere that this is bad or problematic or this is this is not good, and we need to shut this shit down. And I'm a hero. Like you're an idiot. You're you're nobody. You're a speck, and you're just a bummer. And we don't need a bummer right now. We just yeah, lived in a bummer. And if you're not interested in it, there's many other things you can do. Yes. You, don't, you, don't, you don't have to fucking protest it. Just don't go to or support it. You know how many things I don't like? Right. You know how many things I don't like? Yeah. In the business that we're in. And I just don't listen yeah, to it. Yeah, you move on. I move the fuck on. And you find people you, you know, gel with and, and, and that's then it. relate to. And that's it. And that's life. Yeah. It's such a it's just like a weird dictator mentality. I don't like this. It must cease to exist. It's problematic. You're like, who the f you, you sound like Trump, ironically. Mm -hmm. This guy you claim to hate, you're him. It's all defund the police, but you act like cops. You can't say this, you can't talk about that, you can't joke about this. <laughs> like, why don't you just beat me with a nightstick right now, you cunt? I'm dying here. <laughs> oh they, shit. They're that's so great. mean and uh and hateful and they want to ruin you. <laughs> I'm a sweet person, we gotta help people. He shouldn't have a job. Get rid of him. It's like, what are we doing? Which one is it? Are you sweet and nice and a hero? Or are you a terrifying human being who wants to ruin people's lives? Oh, man. He said fag in 1988. He's the devil. Well, how come I can't evolve? Blow me, whore. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, one time I went to a bar and my friend said it looked like a like a Marx Brothers movie. Like I was on the table. Then I, would, I grabbed the fire extinguisher and shot everybody and all this shit. But... The craziest thing, my friends were fucking mooks, like animals, you know, football yeah. playing, like white guys from the South who wore shorts and tucked their button down in and mm -hmm. wore loafers, but fucking went nuts. Yeah. And I went out with with uh, my friends. We got drunk, whatever. I don't remember anything. I was with my girlfriend at the time. They had to drag me up to my porch at my home and she's helping, you know, and it's like a Tuesday, it's yeah. a school night. And then as a goof, they're, she's trying to get me in the house quietly because my parents are sleeping. And as a goof, they go, hey, Norman. And my girlfriend looks back and they shoot us both with paintballs and just like light up the house and light me. I'm like, <laughs> oh my know, God. I don't remember any of this. But she told me. so bad. I don't remember a thing. I didn't wake up. I, I was blacked out through the whole thing. The, the house is, D -d 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 -d, you know, the whole thing's yellow. Oh my God. And they're like, ah, they peel off in their fucking jacked up truck. 
And then my dad comes out, and he was a military guy, much like your own. He's like, yeah. what the fuck? He's having flashbacks. He's yeah. flipping out. So he comes out, and he sees me laying there covered in yellow paint and my girlfriend crying. And he's like, what the fuck's <laughs> going on? So he picks us both up. He throws me in the you know the hallway of the house. He's like, you, upstairs, now. And he, she's crying. She runs upstairs, and he picks me up and spanks me. In the living room, he, he wasn't a hitter, but he just didn't know what to do. He was like having a meltdown. Spanks me on my ass. I start laughing, and my girlfriend's watching through the railing of the banister of the stairs, and I'm like, ah, you know, my dad's spanking me. Yeah. And so he he just, he like lays me down on the living room floor, and then he goes, you get down here to her, and he's like, what's wrong with him? Why does he drink so much? Is he depressed? And she's like, I don't know. And then the next day, he wakes me up at like seven. I'm like, ah, I can't move. Throws me in the shower with my clothes on, turns it on. He goes, you're going to alcohol therapy or whatever yeah. it is. And I was like, ah, oh, what? Ah. And he drove me to this lady who like was a doctor and, and I don't know, had to ask me questions, but I still had, you know, some yellow here and yeah. shit. And yeah, it was, it was a wild, uh, wild night apparently. And not to mention <laughs> girls do doggy style. Their asshole is completely exposed. I don't want my asshole ever seeing the light of day or a, or a table lamp. Nothing. I don't want ever have my asshole pointing at the ceiling. Yeah. That's Even a when, tough I, one. when I leave the room, I put a shirt in the back there or a cork or something. <laughs> um, you toured Europe with fat, with Bert. Ah, uh, yes. And that was a tough two weeks. What? What I don't really. I, what was that like? Well, Bert call and Bert's a friend, and I got you. Got to hand it to Bert for b- being rich. He's shooting movies. He's hanging out with Snoop Dogg, and oh, he's yeah. still like a normal, you know, nice fat yeah. guy. Yeah, he really is, and I appreciate that, and yeah. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Some guys they got one fucking uh, t-shirt sale, and they're like, "All right, I'll see you in hell." <laughs> like, hey, thanks. Yeah, but uh, yeah, thanks, Tim Dillon. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tim Dillon is a a very funny gay man, but but Bert is super cool. And I was like, he's like, hey, you want to go to Europe? And I'm like, trip to Europe, paid to do comedy, drinking, the whole thing. I'm in. When am I going to Europe? Yeah. And it was challenging. Really? Well, I like to drink as much as the next guy, but I'm a normal human being who gets hung over and is an introvert and right. likes being alone and all that. Yeah. And Bert's like. Drinking all night, shots, 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 eating pizza at 5 a.m., then waking up at 9 a.m., hitting the treadmill with a Coors Light, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm shitting blood, I'm trembling, you know, I'm foaming at the mouth, uh, I'm in a, you know, a Coke den with two naked guys, I'm like, what happened, how did we get here? And he's like, hey, uh, I'm at the gym, then I'm gonna do some promo, you wanna be in my video where we roller skate in our panties, I'm like... I'm going to kill myself. This is day two. <laughs> yeah. And we got a flight tomorrow at 7 a.m. to Copenhagen. And uh, I don't Who know works. how we're how we're going to do this. Here we go. Law 45. Hold Preach on. the need for change, but never reform too much at once. Judgment. Everyone understands the need for change in the abstract, but the day-to-day level people are creatures of habit. Too much innovation is traumatic and will lead to revolt. If you are new to a position of power or an outsider trying to build a power base, Make a show of respecting the old way of doing things. That's if true. If change is necessary, make it feel like a gentle improvement on the past. That's brilliant there shit. There you go. There you, you go. Some, some kid needs to uh, translate that into like millennial yeah. Gen Z talk. Like, yo fam, it's lit when you're yourself. Fucking. You know, or some <laughs> bullshit just so everybody gets it because I think it's a little too heavy handed sometimes, but Here. it's all brilliant. Have you ever done anything with a trans? No, I'm not against it. Actually, I got blown in Mexico by, uh, I believe, uh, I believe a man. <laughs> I don't ask questions. Did you sneak him into the shelter? Or no, what? no. Me and my friends went to uh, Tijuana, as you do. We were like 18. Whatever. And they were all getting whores. And I, I was like, ah, I don't want to do that. That feels weird. Yeah. Mexican whore. You don't know what's what. Yeah. And, uh Eventually, I was like, you know what, fuck it. And I went to this bar, and I got a, I got blown. And I remember the guy had rock-hard tits, and I touched his hair, and he was like, don't do that, because it would move. Yeah. And uh, I was like, okay. And then I walked out, and I was feeling pretty good, and my friends were all standing outside like, you didn't go in that bar, did you? I was like, yeah. <laughs> and they're like all busted out laughing. So it was a quiet... Quiet drive home. Yeah. <laughs> so you so you definitely got blown by a, a trans woman. Yeah, I think it was just a dude in a, in a wig. In a wig, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So not even trying. 
<laughs> yeah, but yeah. amazing BJ. I mean, yeah. they know the equipment. Yeah. It was unbelievable. I had is a condom it, on. Is it better? You had a condom Oh, yeah. On. Way, way better. better. Way better. They knew, mm. she knew what to do and yeah. all that. It was amazing. Everybody you, is bi. Apparently. You were right. <laughs> I guess you're right. You That's should be episode. able to say all the jokes then if you've been Ooh, there. Oh, good point. For real. I'll take it. N word? <laughs> <laughs> I fucked a couple of, you know. <laughs> Black guys? <laughs> black, black ladies. Uh, Very intimidating. I know you like the white gal, the white no, no, the white coos. Yeah, everybody, okay. everybody. Yeah, the black gals. You, you've been with a few. Uh-huh. Nah. Oh, not right. yet, not yet, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, they're intimidating? Why are they intimidating? Well, you just assume the Lakers have been in there and, uh, <laughs> you know, just all the giant, giant men. <laughs> tough, the tough follow. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on a tiny penis. I'm not saying I'm small, but I'm not huge. Right. So, uh, right. You're not right. LeBron. Right. Yeah, I'm no LeBron. I'm more Curry. But, uh, yeah. I'm Bugsy Bogues. Yeah. But, but I got good veinage. Yeah. I'm all vein. That's what girls like, for sure. You think? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if... Uh, all, all the Europe ones, you know. Did you get loose in Amsterdam? We got loose. We, you know, we just did the canals and get a, got a bunch of weed. Are you and a drug guy or... No, nah, not a weed guy. I can't do it. I'm, I'm too fucked up. The weed brings out all the demons. Yeah. It doesn't suppress them like alcohol. What you, like need. Up, you, like, you like booze and uppers. Yeah, yeah. But yours and uppers. But Let's you don't seem that. like, uh, lots of you have your <clears throat> darkness. It's from your childhood? I think so. Yeah, I had a weird childhood. How so? Well, let's see. Uh, my dad got a wild hair up his ass and bought a mansion, dilapidated mansion in a poor black neighborhood. So, first of all, the house was fucked. We barely had running water. It was, you know, we'd have family meetings. Like, all right, go shit at school. Don't shit here. We need the water. <laughs> and then my dad started running out of money, so he, he made the back half of bed and breakfast, like old style. So my mom's whipping up pancakes at 8 a.m., and I'm like, can I get one? She's like, blow me, dick. Uh, eat, a, eat a bowl of Cheerios, you cunt. And so I was like, all right, sorry, Jesus. And so, you and, you know, they're so, my parents are workaholics. They're checked out. You know, they, they, they were nice people, but they're just like, hey. Hey, we gave birth to you. You figure, you figure it out. It out yeah. yeah, go there's watch no, TV. There's no attention. Yes. Uh, Dr. Drew, I just Best did Best thing to happen to a fucking comic. Maybe, but boy, Dude, it's sad. Don't give them yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah. So what Dr. Drew say? So he said, you're because uh, I was like, my mom didn't react. Like, I, I have girlfriends. I'll introduce her to my mom. They're like, whoo, that was tough. I felt like I was bombing in there. I'm like, welcome to my life, you fucking whore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, 20 years of that shit growing up. And uh, <laughs> so, I like, I like, 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 no wonder you need the last from fucking strangers. Exactly. Like, ask me a question. Just ask me a random question. Um, my mom. Uh, um, uh, a random question. Um, where are you from? <laughs> what time is it? Where are we? You know, it's just like, oh shit, sorry. She like, won't engage. Yeah, and it's, she's not mean. She's just like, she's just got her checked out. Yeah, she's just like thinking about, all right, I got to pay the bill. I got to water the plants, you know. And you're Did like, you have brothers and sisters? Older brother, and he's a genius. He's like this, you know, math computer wizard. And our neighborhood was so dangerous that he just head into a computer like as a kid and he just became like DOS and shit. Did you make friends books. in the neighborhood with the black Yeah, kids? yeah, but then you got into fights and there was a lot of racial tension. It was the 90s and bikes were stolen and we got robbed all the time. <laughs> we had this crazy alarm going off because our house was so big and you would just, I'd be like an eight-year-old kid and you just hear like glass breaking and then woo! I'm just like, ah, ah. I'm in my room, like hugging up Teddy, you know, hoping I don't get raped by fucking Leroy. And, uh, you know, you go downstairs and, hey, the TV's gone today, you know, and that was yeah. that was a Tuesday. Yeah, and yeah. we got robbed all the time. My dad, he's got like, he's like N-word rich, you know, where he's like, oh, we're going to buy a shitty Lexus, but it's a Lexus, you know, so the Lexus would get stolen. He's like, all right, he'll give me like cab money to go to school and shit. And, uh, and that was just how it was. I, I remember I told this story on Rogan, but I got my uh, bike stolen just, just, Street toughs, you know, they would rub their front tire on your back tire, and that meant like, ah, oh, you're fucked. <laughs> and uh, they would just take your bike. Have you heard my dick pic story? No. Maybe eight years ago, I hooked up with this gal, and it was like a passionate weekend on the road. It was amazing. She was way out of my league. It was the highlight of my life. So we'd kind of communicate uh, after a few weeks uh, of me leaving, and she'd be like, send me a dick pic. Send her a dick pic, whatever, no big deal. Uh, eight months later, we stopped talking, whatever. Somebody d uh, uh, tweets at me, at me, hey, is this your dick? And it was a photo of my dick. 
Some random guy in like Minnesota. But a good photo, no less. Yeah, but it's still my dick, so it's not great. But I saw my sheets, and that's what did it. I was like, ah, those are my dinosaur <laughs> sheets. And so uh, that's my race car bed. I know that bed anywhere. Yeah, I just didn't respond, and it kind of you know flew off into the Twitter ether. But uh, Jesus, seeing your own dick on a public platform is terrifying. That's a bummer. It's and a he bummer. knows it's mine. Well, you got a nice penis, though. It's all right. It's fine. It's a it's a Civic. It's a Civic. Yeah, it's like it a, it'll get you places, reliable, but yeah. uh, you know, it's not gonna win a race. Bitch and moan about every fucking thing, you know, about every little. Yeah, like I'm with you. You know, we you can just yeah, you can have coffee delivered. I know. You know. It's like it's a fucking amazing place to live. It's incredible, and there's an escort in the phone book. I mean, everything you want is here. <laughs> And I don't think we're as racist as we say we are. You know, it's like, well, then why is Oprah doing so well? And, you know, Jay-Z seems fine. I don't know. Maybe you're racist and you got some shit you got to deal with. I don't know. I think the more Nigerians have moved here than were black people were enslaved. Uh-huh. That's kind of fun. I didn't know that. And then That's uh, a stat? That's a stat. Look it up there, Jew face. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think everybody's doing pretty good. Definitely. Uh, there's certain things that happened in my past where I think other people will feel uncomfortable talking about, but I claimed ownership over it. Like, good. I was touched by my sister's friend. At the age, she was 13, I was nine. Ooh. And I'm, yo, and let me tell you, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. That was, it was a good time. Yeah, well, you're a survivor, but <laughs> you enjoyed it. I get it. It's it's all about how you perceive it. I was, uh, I had sex with a 55 year old when I was 16, <laughs> which I was the king of high school for a, a, a year, but. I was talked to a teacher? lady about it last week, and she was like, oh, you're a pedophile survivor. And I'm like, I guess I am. How about that? I never, I didn't do a one-man show. I didn't tweet about it. I didn't have a hashtag. I just sucked it up and went, hey, how about that? How was it? Great. I mean, I sucked, but it was great. A 55-year-old woman would put it on you. We're oh. talking about figure four leg locks, oh. submission holds. I met her husband. He was a, just an <laughs> old queef with white hair, and uh, he can't get it up. So I was rock hard from uh, from Jump Street, and she loved it. I don't know. Getting over that, I do think that the upside far outweighs. Okay. You know? That helps. Yeah. And talk about discomfort, and talk about a new challenge, and talk about oh, all satisfied. That. Making a good podcast is one thing. Imagine making a good human. A good human, yeah. And it's really cool. Like you see your kid develop a personality, and mm. and and like you know, yeah, you you do feel pride. Like when you you're out and you're you know, my son's like introducing himself to people. Oh, being like, come it's on. yeah, it just kills you. Oh, you anyone know? else hard? Yeah. <laughs> oh, these kids. <laughs> they're so but that's what so it's so adorable. That's so nice to hear you say because uh, you know, all we talk about is like we gotta leave a good planet for our kids. Like, hey, how about we leave some good kids for the planet? Yeah. You know, your kids fucking suck. Yeah. And I'm talking to you, Dickless. You got shitty, snot nosed, annoying, unpolite kids. Yeah. Stop it. Dude, you I, suck. They, they don't realize they suck, and then they're making little them. What are the secrets about your chick? Like, like she? Well, I mean, I don't know how much I can say, but she is she private? Ah, eh, she's cool. She's a she's an open casket, but she's uh <laughs> she likes she likes uh, insults and be mean to me and hold me down and you really? know you know really degrade. Really? Yeah. Which is, I feel weird doing because I like her. Yeah. You know, but, uh, you know, you're lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the weird thing. You're like, uneducated. Yeah, yeah. Not all insults are sexy. Like you're a bad driver. You know, your food, your cooking sucks. But uh, yeah, it's bad though. One time we were fucking and, you know, call me a whore, call me a slug, call me a, tell me I'm this. And I was like, ah, oh, you fucking retard. <laughs> and that, did not, that didn't go over well. She was like, what are you doing? I was like, ah, sorry. I'm trying to think of the meanest thing. <laughs> you're fucking so that didn't fly. Oh, sorry. Oh, we got a Downsy model? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. There you wow. go. Now I feel better about jerking Victoria's it. Secret now has a Down syndrome model. That was a Down syndrome. Wow. Hey, listen, inclusive, and she's beautiful. She's you know? not bad. Not bad. Very pretty. Are those real or fakes? What do we think? Well, those titties ain't. That's an old David <laughs> joke. That's a David <laughs> <Tell> joke. <laughs> yeah, that's, from, that's from uh, <laughs> that's from Lee, uh, Skanks, Skanks for the, the Memories. memories yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pimp's going to be wearing those glasses soon, I think. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There it is. He, she does look a little like homeless pimp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, good you know, for wow. her. Good for her. Yeah, she's nice. got the, I wonder if she's got strength. Can she lift a car? <laughs> They're strong people. That's what I hear. It's great. They pay her in crayons. Good for her. 
<laughs> all right, we'll cut that out. No, I say clip it. All right. Uh, all right. Um, so what was I talking about? Whatever accomplishments you I, I had were what she considered just baseline. Right. You had to do. But do you think that made you better? It made me sadder. <laughs> There's nothing about that experience that made me, that catapulted me into anything but like a broken person. <laughs> I hear you. You don't look at those medals and go, hey, that was pretty good. Yeah. Damn. Nothing, nothing. I have them. You have, <laughs> oh my God, one of them is gold plated. You want what? one? What? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah I, won the, the I won the Southeast Asian Games. I won two gold medals. What? I'll give them to you. No, don't give them to me. Mark, sell them. No take offense. them, take them, Mark. No offense, but... You don't look like no athlete to me. No, I'm not. I was a skateboard <laughs> kid. You were? Oh, big time. That was my whole life. Wait, wait, wait. You're a skater? I was. I mean, I'm old now, but... Yeah, but so boy, back... Because, you know, I grew up... I, well, I just a second. All right, don't. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't. Please don't. All right. I'm a poser. Uh, please don't. Please. He even opened up a skate shop but can't skate. Uh, I opened up a skate uh, shop, right? Oh, uh, what and, a dweeb. And, yeah, and... You know, <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at my body. Well, that's now you're 61. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Whoever said Asian that's don't true. raisin. <laughs> that's true. I'm joking. You look great even though you're coming out of your shirt at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Please keep it coming. No, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I love being ripped on. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you do it. But people are doing it for you. You're very popular on TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah, there's so many just viral videos. That's of you. Steve Byrne. <laughs> Sorry. <He is. laughs> but um, yeah, that that's kind of flattering when someone else does that. I've had people like mimic my act or lip sync it, and you're like, "Oh, that's cool!" Fun. Yeah. Somebody's watching. Somebody gives a shit enough to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is is like, do you want to do acting or anything like? Ah, that? I can't act. It's not good. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> I had to do a. I done a million. I've done a million auditions. I've never gotten one. And I had to do one where my dad died. Uh -huh. Next to me on the couch, and they threw me out of the room. Oh. That bad? Oh, really? They're like, get out of here! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, dad, what are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you dying on us? Yeah, yeah, Jeez, yeah, Louise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, all right, you're wasting our time. I was like, I drove here from Santa Monica. It took three hours. You know? uh, yeah.